Today, I'm going to talk about the Community Engagement Exchange Program in the USA. If you are interested in this topic, make sure to watch this video till the end. What's up guys welcome back to the channel my name is Z and I'm back again with another exciting video so community engagement exchange program 2022 the application is open for the USA I made this video last year as well for 2020 and 2021 and this year I'm making this video again because I personally feel this is one of the best opportunity for the international students especially the Pakistani students, you have to apply for this opportunity because if you really want to get a real life experience, this is one of them. In this video, I'm going to talk about what is Community Engagement Exchange Program CEE, how you can apply, what are the eligibility criteria, and what are the process to apply. Community Engagement Exchange Program application information. It is hosted by IREX. And the last day to apply for this exchange is January 14, 2022. So the CCE program is a dynamic global network of innovators working with the communities to address the critical 21st century issues. So more than 100 countries are involved in this project. If you are one of the country mentioned by IRX, you should apply a transformational leadership development experience cc is a one year long program designed to enable the civil society leaders if you are aged between 21 to 28 you can apply and you have some kind of experience in volunteer experience and you have a good public and communicative skills you should apply in this scholarship the fellowship includes there will be three months practicum in the USA. So IRX mem matches CE fellows to civil society organization in the USA designated to supervisors and peer support to follow. So there would be three months you can stay in um, the USA and the IRS will pair you with the mentors here in the USA so you can get hands-on experience. Then you will get the Leadership and Civic Engagement Academy. So the CCE fellows explore the program themes through interactive curriculum that includes the service learning, face-to-face -face training, mentorship, professional coaching, and inclusion in a global network. Number third, Community Engagement Project. So with the help of the U.S. host organizations and mentors, CEE fellows design and plan a community engagement project to carry out after they return home. Jab aap ghar wapas a jayenge, to your home country, you have to do one project and you have to present that project in the USA that you are going to do in your home country. The last one is community engagement pro project. So select the US host and CE specialist will travel to CE alumni country and work collaboratively to support the fellows project. So first of all, you have to select one project in the USA that you are going to implement in your home country. Second, once you select that project, you have to come back to your home country and you have to do that project in your home country. And the mentors from this uh, exchange program, they might come and visit your home country. So the application information, the CEE fellow application will be open Monday from November 15 and to January 14. So January 14, 2022 is the last day to apply for this exchange and eligibility requirement. So Completion for the CEE program is a merit-based and it is open to emerging civic society and community leaders who meet the criteria. So first of all, you need to be between 21 to 28. Once you apply to this exchange, your age 
should be 21 to 28. You shouldn't be the citizen of USA and you shouldn't have a PR like permanent residence card of the USA as well. You have a minimum of two years of professional or volunteer experience at the time of the application. You are living and working in your home country. For example, if you not living in your home country, you are not um, considered to apply for this scholarship. Individuals with the refugee status working on the behalf of their home community may be given a special consideration and you have a high school, you have a high level of proficiency in speaking and written English at the time of application. Obviously, if you are going to English speaking country, your English should be in a good level. Semifinals will be required to take and submit the recent score of IELTS. So for example, if you are a selector for this exchange, you need to do IELTS. IELTS is important for this scholarship. Um, you are available to travel in the USA for three months and you are committed to returning to your home country to complete the community engagement project. So you are not a citizen, a permanent resident of the USA, as I said, and you are eligible to receive a J1 visa. So applicants who um, participated in the exchange program sponsored by the US government must have fulfilled their two years home residency requirement by the time of application. So if you are coming to the USA on a J1 visa, you have to stay two years after their program into your home country. That's a law and you are committed to return to your home country for a minimum of two years. Like two years you can apply any visa apply in the USA if you have J1 visa in the USA. You are not an IRX employee or consultant. Okay, ji. financial support. So this program will cover the cost of your expenses. Your J1 visa would be free. Obviously, the $160 DS-160 form fee would be waived. Round trip from your home country to the US city. Hey, hey, this is the benefit. Monthly allowance to cover your housing, your meals and other living expense in the USA. And your accident and sickness insurance. So you're getting four things. Your J1 visa application fee would be free. Your round trip from your home country to the USA. Your monthly allowance covers your housing, your meals and your living expense. You will get paid. And the fourth thing, you would get your medical insurance if you ever got sick. Eligible countries. Obviously, Africa, East Africa and Pacific, obviously. And Europe and um, Middle East and North Africa, South and Central Asia. So this is the one Bangladesh, Bhutan, Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan, Maldives, Nepal, Pakistan, Sri Lanka. Unfortunately, I didn't see India in this list. Okay, how you can apply for this scholarship? So you have to go here, apply now and it will bring you on this page. You have to sign up and it will give you that kind of um, page. So in this um, page you have to do five, six, seven, eight different things. Your demographic information, eligibility information, your contact information, your previous international experience, your educational background, your professional background, your essay prompts, and your program theme selection. So this is the main application for this exchange um, program. So first thing first, demographic information. So you can start here and you see you have to fill up all these information. What is your gender um, and where you live? You have to tell all the information in this program where you hear from this program. And this is the first page. Second page is eligibility information. You can start here. Um, select your age. Select your country of citizenship. Select your date of birth select um, where you born, select your home address and um, are you currently participating in a community project? Obviously not. And then you can save and return back. If you want to change this, you can change any time after that. Third, your contact information. You have to go, you have to write your first name, your last name, your telephone number, your Skype ID, your WhatsApp number, your email ID 
um, the city where you live, the postal code, the country, your permanent address where you can get the mail, you can save and return. Previous international experience. So have you ever traveled outside of your home country? If you did, make sure you say yes. Are you planning to travel to the United States for the next year for education? If not, say not. And then you can save and return back to the application. Educational background. In this page, you have to write down your current education um, what uh, degree are you doing right now? Are you um, done your bachelor, your master? Are you currently enrolled in any school? You have to write it down. If you are graduated, make sure you write it down. And have you completed any additional leadership or management training program? Yes or no? This, this whole scholarship and exchange is totally based on your civic service and your engagement with the community. So if you've done a lot of volunteer work, this is the best um, exchange program for you next is professional background name of the organization let's say um, you worked or you volunteer different organization make sure you write it down the name of the organization your address your city your country telephone number website of that organization and um, your state ID um, you're currently uh, currently employed to that organization yes or no if you done multiple uh, volunteer work make sure you fill out this whole application and give the whole idea and whole picture to the um, uh, committee so they can know what kind of person you are the next part is essay prompt I personally feel like this is a very important part and you have to um, take it seriously so they will give you a couple of questions and you have to answer these questions regarding to the vision of the CEE program the first question is what is your vision for creating a thriving community and how do you believe your participation in the CEE program will bring you closer to achieve this vision so you have to write it down in your own words what is your vision and why CEE choose you as a party spend you have to explain and you have to narrate your vision and the CEE vision aligned to each other the next question is from your perspective what is the most important challenge facing your community describe what motivates you to address this community issue so again you have to write it down according to your own uh, eligibility according to your own intelligence like what are the most common issues dealing by your community so if that issue is related to this exchange program related to the IRS mission related to IRX vision then obviously you are a strong candidate the word limit is 450 um, next is please describe a time when you faced a challenge on a project or a challenge um, with your community and steps you took address obviously if you been worked on a project or you volunteer with a couple of organization there would be a situation where you have to um, address the community challenge and you face a lot of challenge make sure you tell exactly what happened and how you tackle it uh, what knowledge or skills or resources do you think <clears throat> you need to achieve your vision for a healthy community and what are you doing to gain those skills presently this is a great question make sure you read all these prompts very very carefully because the admission committee will look up these prompts and your answers and then they will decide um, how um, you are a good candidate or not next is if you already know about the CE program hope how what do you hope to gain what would you are hoping to gain from this exchange program there are so many other uh, participants who applied for this exchange why we would choose you the next is uh, what kind of uh, um, project you gonna do um, in back home Make sure um, CE supports a global network of emerging leaders society. How would you use CE program and um, advance issues to passionate about your country? So 
what kind of issues your country is facing and how you gonna uh, uh, incorporate those issues into the CE program what are the knowledge you gonna get from here and how you gonna uh, f do that challenge next one is last one is select the program theme so here you have to select one theme which you want to do you want to do uh, civic engagement and peace dialogue you want to do open and participatory government you want to do women and gender these all are the projects which you have to select one of them in the USA and then you have to implement in your back home country so again this is a great great program community engagement exchange program um, you should apply I made a video last year as well and I'm making this video again because I personally think this is a great opportunity for you to become a leaders for tomorrow if you have any question please let me know in the comment section and if you are alumni of this exchange program make sure comment below so we can arrange a zoom interview stay blessed be safe take care